Hello everyone, Ice Cool Tech here. A few days ago, Apple released WatchOS 6.2.1 in the general public, but hasn't made its way to all Apple Watch models yet. And before we get into the video, if you happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Ice Cool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Let's even hit 1,000 subscribers before Apple's WWDC 20 event in early June. Stay tuned for the end for a special announcement. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Now, I purposely waited a while longer to make this video, and we're going to be taking a look at why. About three days ago, Apple released WatchOS 6.2.1 to the general public following the release of iOS and iPadOS 13.4.1 and a supplemental update to macOS Catalina 10.15.4. WatchOS 6.2.1 is a very small update that addresses an issue where a user on WatchOS 6.2 would not be able to FaceTime someone using a device on iOS 9.3.6 or older, or OS 10 El Capitan or older. This update was supposedly released to all compatible Apple Watches, however I noticed that the update didn't appear for me in my Series 1. I made sure that no beta profiles were installed in the Apple Watch app and restarted both the watch and my iPhone 11, among some other things, in an attempt to see if this would fix the supposed issue. I did some researching to find out that I'm not the only one having this issue. Others are reporting that their Series 1 and 2 models were missing out on this update. Let me know if you have received the update or not on your Series 1 or 2 in the comments. Now this is very peculiar yet very interesting at the same time. It's pretty strange because Apple normally wouldn't leave out any supported device in an update like this. It's interesting because both the Series 1 and Series 2 watches share the same processor. Both of these watches are indeed aging, and I personally assume they will not be receiving WatchOS 7. Regardless of the fact that they'll most likely lose support this fall, Apple wouldn't have ignored these watches without reason, whether this was a mistake or something else that is yet to be determined. Now let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. I will personally continue to investigate this, and will have a follow-up video if I find anything. Now for now, Apple Watch Series 1 and Series 2 users will have to be left out in the cold. Now, before I go ahead and wrap up the video, I'd like to announce my very first iOS jailbreak theme, Modern 6. I've decided to take it upon myself to make an iOS 6 theme that fully supports the latest iOS and iPadOS versions while keeping a sharp high definition look. This theme is currently in beta and the download link will be in the description down below if you are interested. I'm very excited about this and I hope you guys like it. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below as always. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.